Hello there, my name is Richard Hurstwood from Hurstwood Training, multi-sensory room training at www.multi-sensory-room.co.uk. What I want to do today is show you how to turn this innocent looking little plastic thing into something stunning like this. It's done with what we call Pico projectors. I've been showing these on courses for a little while and you know, it's absolutely wonderful. Let me show you a bit more about these. I'm going to show you how to make it work with an iPod. There's my iPod and whoa, there it is, the Optima Pico Projector. Pico is the classification, we just call them Pico Projectors. They're tiny little LED projectors. Look at the lens there on the front. There's nothing there. They're also battery operated, which is wonderful. Very few controls, on off switch, audio visual in, and that's Joe. He's got to focus on it, but that's about it, but it's great. So there's the front lens, absolutely nothing there. It's a little light emitting diode or LED as we know them. On that side you can see the focus on the right hand side. No keystone for those technical people. You AV in, in other words you plug from your iPod or your PC goes into that socket on the left. On the other side of it you've got a dual on switch. You've got to uh, switch it on once, it goes dual. Switch it on again, it goes to full brightness. And you've got a USB power supply which comes with the unit so you can run it from mains if you want to. So the effect we're after is this. Nothing plugged into it at the moment so you're just getting the splash screen but that's it. Totally portable projection. For all the techie people these are RCA connectors to take you to a composite video out. There's the little jack specially made for the projector, goes into the side and then you need to get a lead from your PC or in my case here is the lovely little lead <laughs> I got from Apple to plug in my iPod. Now this will work with an iPod uh, video, a classic that has video on it which I'm going to use and you've seen. It'll also work with an iPod Touch and an iPhone as well. In fact you should be able to plug in just about anything into this Optima uh, little Pico projector. So let's plug them in. Now red and white are always sound, yellow is always video. Then what I've got to do, because I'm plugging it into an iPod, I need to take the other end of my Apple lead, plug it into my iPod, and that's it. We're ready for off. Oh, just one little thing. You need to set your iPod up. So, you see there I'm in settings and it says TV out, and up there it says off. Now, what you need to do is go TV out, it says ask or on, so off, ask or on. I put mine to ask. In other words, the iPod, when I play a video, is going to say, do you want the signal to go out of the iPod or do you want to play it on the screen? So look, do you want to enable TV out? And I've just flicked it to on on the scroll wheel there. Sorry it's a bit out of focus, but that's how you do it. And now when you press play, nothing will appear on the iPod screen, but it'll be on the data projector. In other words, the Pico projector. And as you can see here, shining it onto the wall in my basement, there you go, there's the iPod. Nothing coming out of that, but it's coming out of the Pico projector. It's great. I'm just projecting up a, uh, a little clip from a, uh, a thing called Fish, from a website called iLoaded.com. iLoaded.com. And this is a freebie that you can download. It's wonderful. And you can see there, just projecting it onto the wall. Now, I'm in a fairly bright room here, as you can see, so the image is not that bright. I could go into lumens, but just take it from me. It's not going to be as bright as your ordinary data projectors. And in a light room, it will be a little bit washed out. But there's ways to get over that. All of your control, pause and play is all done via your iPod, not the projector, because if you think about it, the projector is just a screen. So you can project just about any video you want to through this. One of the great things about little projectors like this is that you can hand hold them. So I'm just holding it here onto the side of a lamp from Ikea. You know, I'll put my hand in and you'll see what sort of size it actually is. But you know, if you project onto different surfaces, it'll make the video projection so much more interesting. One little problem with this, and that is that when you handhold it, it's very hard to keep it still. Here I'm handholding in a darker environment, spin it round. You can do all sorts with this, but maybe you want it to be a little more steady. Here's how to do it. The Pico comes with this little gadget on the right. What you do is turn the projector over like this, and then screw this into the bottom of the projector just by the battery compartment. 
This enables you to mount the Projectron to a tripod. Here's a titular little tripod. Uh, this is one I use for small little cameras. And all I'll do is take the Pico and then just attach it via the standard tripod attachment. This is going to make the projector a whole lot steadier. Any kind of camera tripod will work with this projector. So here it is mounted onto the little camera stand and you can see I'm projecting it onto the plant pot. Lois will go mad at me for this but there you go. It looks wonderful. Don't forget project into unusual places it'll be tons better. So once you've got it on a tripod you could try pointing it up to the ceiling. Look at this, I can get fish on my ceiling for those children or adults who need to lay down and watch it up on the roof. It's wonderful. Oops, sorry about the head walking through there. Jack, what are you doing? Fantastic. I think the only problem with this is because I've got a big apple lead on it, it does look like a big bundle of wires, but uh, uh, you can probably get much neater leads than that to connect your Pico to your uh, iPod or to your any other kind of video player. So there it is. And you can see the sort of size that we get. Uh, and it's wonderful. And as you can see, fairly bright space. So let's move it into a darker space. Now look what happens. When I project it into a shadowy corner of this room, suddenly this is a whole lot brighter. That is a lot better. And that's one thing about low output or low power projectors like this. They're going to work a lot better in darker spaces. As I say with any kind of projection, don't just project onto flat surfaces. Here's a nice cream coloured cushion. It'll be wonderful for the like fish tank. It's great. Project onto cushions. <laughs> and if you'd like to create an amazing effect, put your Pico on the floor. You don't have to have a clothes dryer there, but you do need a cardboard box. And as you can see, just projecting straight inside a cardboard box. How awesome is that? That'd be great for visual stimulation. Wonderful. Cardboard box, Pico projector, iPod. <laughs> We're off. Oh, get me a glass of wine. At the very start of the video, I did say I'll show you how to make that into something awesome. How about this? Put your Pico onto the floor and just back project through this transparent storage box. There you go, get your head in there. Amazing video effects with a transparent storage box. The only drawback to this system is that the sound that comes out of it can only be described as dire. What you need to do is plug a pair of computer speakers into your iPod if you're going to use your iPod or into your computer if you're going to use a computer. So, the Pico projectors, you're going to see a lot more of these over the next couple of years. They're battery operated. This particular one, this optimally has two batteries with it and you can run it from mains as well. Pico projectors, they're cheap, give it a go.